guys, this is Taylor from Live Feisty Media, <laughs> and this is Iron Women Live from Kona, and I am here with the wonderful Lindsay Corbin, <laughs> and we're going to talk all about training in Tucson <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> with Heather Jackson. Um, more tips on Kona right after we roll our intro. Wait, we didn't even do the squat? <laughs> I have a golden retriever. Her name's Ch actually it's Chim Yuen, but we just oh, call her Chimmy okay. for short. Um, and I haven't seen her actually since um, before Ironman, Wisconsin. So long time apart. But um, Chris, my husband's been holding down the fort at home, and they've been doing a lot of fishing. So and she's at Doggyville Ranch right now, just living the dream. I think Hawaii would be too hot for her. So that's true. And she's, her she's used to like Oregon. Yes, weather, right? exactly. Yes. Yeah, I don't think she'd be a Hawaii dog, but she's still awesome. I'm looking forward to going home after this and yeah, doing some dog hikes and sleeping in and cuddling and fetching and coffee and all that good stuff. Yeah, mm -hmm. enjoying the off season. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Yeah, so I know you've been down in Tucson training mm -hmm. with someone awesome. Yes. Our favorite, <laughs> Heather Jackson. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit about that training partnership. Like, how long have you guys been training together? Um, yeah, so Heather and I go way, way back to the first time she won Wildflower. I think that's when we met. Um, mm -hmm. But she, we lived together in Bend, actually. She lives down the street from us. But she, well, she's oh, getting ready neighbors. To, I know, she's yeah. getting ready to move, though. <laughs> mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I don't know, a few years ago, she invited me down to Tucson to train and um, yeah, it's just a good, we're good friends. We don't do all of our training together in Tucson, but just having someone to like get you out the door and motivate you. And then when you're done training for the day, just hang out on the couch, relax, get groceries, cook good food. Um, just the camaraderie and friendship, I think, um, is, is helpful for both of us. So. Um, we did basically all of our swimming together though, um, a lot of easy runs, a couple hard runs, a couple long rides, but yeah, I mean, we have different training plans and we actually are complete opposite athletes, so oh. uh, I'm like the diesel engine that descends. So you're very aerobic, yes. based. Yes, yeah, okay. so I descend all the workouts and I'm like the queen of pacing, oh. and Heather has the amazing talent of just going for it and not caring if she blows up, so I wish I feel like that's your personality, I too, know. like that's so perfect. <laughs> yeah, so um, like in swim workouts, she's great to like, she'll be, cha I'll be chasing like, her from the front and then yeah. I'm like picking up the pieces at the end and then she's, it's good for like pushing her I think towards the end. So it's, yeah, mm -hmm. it's pretty funny. We're definitely black and white as far as um, athletic abilities and um, the way we train, but uh, yeah, it's a good, good it friendship. Works. It works out. Exactly. Yeah. So oh, that, that's so awesome. Um, and I saw one of the, like the swim videos that yes. you guys posted with like Lionel Sanders. Yes. Like, so how is it like, do you guys like get more athletes to swim with you and <laughs> stuff like that? Like how, how is your swim progression? Um, yeah, I mean, definitely Heather and I are similar athletes in that the swim is not our strength and mm -hmm. we come out of the water close to around each other and then we're both really strong bikers and runners. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, we're constantly pushing each other in the swim and we know how important it is, especially for a race like this. So um, we were quite proud that we got Lionel to come out of his shell and come <laughs> swim with us. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, I even wanted to invite him over for dinner one night, but then oh, he went out of town so we could oh, no. socialize with him. But um, yeah, you know, um, the thing I love about our sport is we're all pro triathletes, but we have like a common interest in swimming, biking, running. So you, like for me at least, I feel like I'm friends with a lot of the people that mm -hmm. you train with. Like you have a lot to talk about, a lot in common, similar lifestyles. So yeah, we all get along. Um, so yeah, it was fun to swim with. I mean, Lionel's an amazing athlete and um, I've never had the chance to train with him. And so it was interesting just to swim alongside him and see how he operated. And um, yeah, it was fun. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, it sounds it sounds like a great kind of community down in Tucson. Yeah. Um, yeah. But speaking of swim, bike, and run, we just want to thank our wonderful sponsor, Wahoo Fitness. Um, we couldn't be there without them. 
Um, so we're just gonna say a little few words about Oahu and we'll be right back after this to talk about kind of Kona strategies and how to redeem a bad race. All right, sounds good. <laughs> Hey, Ashley, how's it going? Hey, Taylor, I just got off my kicker. That's awesome. How was it? Oh, man, you didn't even hear me. I was so silent. That's super impressive. I didn't hear you at all. Yeah, yeah. It was like I was cruising down the Queen K, but actually I was like just in the other room. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. All I got to say is wahoo! And we're back. Awesome. So you are one of the athletes that's been to Kona, I think, the most times. Like, you, you have yeah. the title now yeah. 12 times. Um, so I want to hear more about, like, how how you race in Kona and, like, coming back from bad experiences in Kona. Like, I think yeah. the elements here really are, you know, they're tricky to master. And yeah. so many people have, like, you know, crushed dreams on, like, the Green yes. K. <laughs> so I want to know a little bit more about, like, how do you come back from a bad race here and, can like, any tips you have for doing that? Yeah, you know, I think I actually went through a string here where, like, for three or four years I was finishing 11th and 12th, which is, like, for me, Just they were, off. I know, for me, they were, like, bad races, which, like, top 15 even it's, here is not a bad race. But in your you're head, you're amazing. like, yeah, you're not making any money. Like, yeah. you, everyone's goal is, like, top five, top ten, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, those races were heartache for sure. Like, you just leave and you're like, why am I coming back? But then there's this allure of, like, this yeah. curiosity of like, I was so close. <laughs> Can yeah. I do it again? And I think that that's um, just the spirit of Ironman in general is like you just testing your limits and seeing what you're capable of and what's possible. And no matter what, like, I mean, I think even Daniela, when she finishes a race is sitting like you can, you can win the race and have a perfect race. And you still, I think, look back over nine hours or eight, whatever hours it is, or 10 hours. And you think like what you could do different to improve upon that. And I think that that's sort of what keeps you coming back for more but um I would say like just having raced here so many times experience pays off and just knowing mm -hmm. like it's such a long day mm -hmm. um I think this race more than other like others just taking care of yourself sticking to your own race plan mm -hmm. um you know fueling smart um those things are gonna really pay dividends in the last hour to two hours of the race and I think that that's sort of what separates the top 10 top 15 from the people that are just having their hearts ripped out on the queen k but yeah i've definitely left here man it's hard to say what my record is of like times happy versus times disappointed but probably 50 um, 50 yeah exactly but then it's like when you do have a bad race and then you can come back from it it makes it all the more gratifying and you're like okay that was totally worth it but um yeah i would of all of them though like if it's your first time racing here the first time is the best because, oh, you know, really? I, I yeah, think, yeah. No expectations? Yeah, yeah. totally. Like, okay. I had to actually do an exercise earlier this, maybe last week, where I had to write down what 2006 was, which was my first time here, and, like, what I remember about it. And it was, like, I finished 23rd. I was, I was a pro, but, like, I should have been so disappointed, and I have, was, like, the biggest smile at the finish. It was the coolest thing ever. Like, I just did Ironman Hawaii. And so it's actually been fun this week to, like, run into people around town that are racing here for the first time, and you yeah. remember, like, what that energy is. And... Um, what racing here is like so um, yeah it's it's a brutal race though for sure and you just got to respect that um, but it's I think that's what we're here for so oh I love that <laughs> just enjoy your first time yeah and enjoy your first <laughs> yeah time. exactly I think that's that's great advice um, speaking of a race with a ton of energy yes. <laughs> let's talk about the famous Ironman Wisconsin oh nice yeah. <laughs> the race you've done two years now yeah. um, and you keep coming back yes. so, so yeah t tell me about that race and kind of like what it what it means to you yeah so I, I did it last year for the first time it was a bucket list race for me um, I heard just incredible things about the town and the energy um, I'm also sponsored by Trek Bicycle which is based out of Madison so I've been to Madison a bunch and knew that the terrain sort of suited me as an athlete and then yeah I did the race last year and it was so much fun like that was all I like I State mean Street the yes Rhine. totally yes, like everything so the whole race is yeah. just fun whereas yeah. like not to say Hawaii is not fun but it's just a different, a different kind fun. of fun exactly and so yeah I just enjoyed myself so much last year and I it parlayed mm -hmm. well into performing here that um, I was like all right I got to go back and do it again so yeah I went back this year and um had a, just as much fun if not more and so yeah we'll see if it's in the cards for a third time but um yeah it's it's a great town and if you're considering doing an Ironman like in the USA that's definitely I, I would recommend it so 
That's great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, it was great to see you in there. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so I guess my, my other question is kind of along the lines of, so you've been in this work for so long, and, like, mm -hmm. you've been through, I think, like, probably multiple generations of, yeah. like, you know, different people on top, different mm -hmm. people, like, on the podium. Like, who who is the person who keeps pushing you and who keeps inspiring you to be better? Yeah, I mean, I think the whole women's field in general is mm -hmm. is all getting faster, and that's, mm -hmm. we can thank Chrissy for that, and then yeah. now Daniela. Um, yeah. McKeeley was the first person, when, my first year I raced here, McKeeley won, mm -hmm. uh, McKeeley Jones, and then it went to sort of the Chrissy um, generation, yep. where Chrissy was just crushing it, and then we all really stepped it up because of Chrissy, and then now we're in the Daniela in honestly yeah it's like I think the women that are racing like there's this great camaraderie among all of us mm -hmm. um that we are all pushing each other um we're all going incredibly fast like last year I went under nine hours here and I was 10th like that's crazy it's insane yeah, yeah. like that's uh, the time I did last year like should have won the race for however many years in a row like it's yeah. just crazy and I think we're gonna see even more faster times this year I think mm -hmm. we're gonna see more women under the three hour run or close to it um mm -hmm. Probably, I would say most of the top ten will be there, and so yeah. it, and, and the it's getting closer, right? So I was tenth last year, and I think ninety seconds away from sixth place, which is like over wow. a nine hour race, like that's nothing, you know. So it's yeah. um, I I would say not one individual in particular has like pushed me or inspired me. It mm -hmm. would be more everyone in general. I think it's just you realize like oh well if they're doing it I can do it too, and um, we're just seeing what we're capable of. And my guess is just the beginning, so. Yeah. Well, yeah. Watch it's out. Watch time. out, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, so, do we have any audience questions? I want to know how that makes you feel that everybody's going sub three. Like, you're a runner, so yeah. Yeah. how does that make you feel? Does it is it inspiring or is it scary or? So, audience question is if um, yeah, if running sub three hours is kind of <laughs> intimidating. Um, obviously, you have a background as a runner. Yeah. Kind of, like, does that does that motivate you? Um, no, I think it's probably more exciting than anything else. I mean, to run under three is also quite painful. <laughs> it's so, actually here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. So it's yeah. like, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, this idea, this quest for like just pushing for your own personal best and like seeing what you're capable of, that's sort of what drives me and keeps me going. Um, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I don't really think about it like in the moment when you're racing, but, um, yeah, it is. It is nerve wracking to know that they're coming behind from from for you from behind, and then they're also ahead of you. You know, like it's um, generally in this race, like in the Energy Lab, you can kind of get an intake of what's going on behind you, what's going on ahead of you, like what's what's going to happen in that last 10k. And yeah, there's no easing up in this race for sure. Like it's just all the way. I mean, even down Polani, I think you're going to have to be racing now because the field is that close together. It's that close. So. Well, that's so great. Um, yeah, no, I think I think you just you have so much experience here, and I feel like you're gonna you're gonna do great on Saturday. Yes, hopefully we'll see. Thank you. Looking well, forward to it. Yeah, it's been great to talk to you today. Um, I just want to thank our sponsors again: Wahoo Fitness, Noon Hydration, and Athletica Rewards. Um, thank you so much, Lizzie. Yes, and thanks. we will see you guys later. Triathlon's a super expensive sport. Luckily, now I can save money online with the Athletica Rewards Cashback Rewards Program. And you can too. Join online at athleticarewards.com.